Hey everyone, this is Daniel and in today's video we're going to take a look at Microsoft Viva Engage and Yammer Storyline which is currently in preview. Now it is very important for you to understand how this preview is available for you to testing and a few things you need to consider before you go and turn on that feature for the testing scenario. So stick around because this is very important for the Office 365 or the Yammer admins and things you should consider. But first, here's my intro video. So here we are in Yammer and the first thing I want to call out is the availability of the storage storyline. Now only the Yammer admins or the global admins, they are the ones when they go over here to the settings, they see this functionality called manage storyline. So when it arrives in your tenant, even this preview feature, you're going to see that first. It's not that the storyline functionality is automatically open up and everybody has access to it. No, that's not the case. And remember this under settings is only for those admin levels which means that if I came over here and if I actually went to a regular user, as a regular user, if that person clicks on the settings, they don't see that functionality. So I'm gonna come back in over here as the admin, which is gonna go back to the other screen. And here we are in the admin. And now you have to actually go into the manage, uh, manage storyline. It's not that something which is in the edit network admin settings and over there, there's a link. No, there's a separate link for that. And we go to manage storyline. And here in the manage storyline, you get these three options. First, it actually tells you that the public preview is available and this will go live immediately. Basically, do you want to toggle this on to see the public preview? And then there's also another thing about preview features, which means there are other enhancements such as insights and the cover page story, deadline digest. Do you want to turn those on as well? But there's also this third option, which is that, hey, once this feature goes generally available and it is available in your tenant, do you by default want to turn that as on? That toggle switch by default is on. And it's going to ask you, if, do you want this on? So I really like this feature that Microsoft has made available because they've given that into your hands. Like you make that decision. And then you, based on how your company is, how your tenants are, you can either leave it on or you can actually go and turn it off. And even if the feature comes out, it will still be disabled in your tenant. So that's a very important thing. So for the sake of this demo, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and now turn it on. And I'll also go and turn on this feature. So we'll actually be able to see all that. Remember, there is no save functionality over here. So now I'll go back and then once I go back and I'll do a little refresh. As you can see, the storyline comes up and this nice pop up comes over there and the pop up actually says that, hey, introducing storyline, a new way to share updates, perspective and experiences with your colleagues and other people across your organization. And as you can see, the storyline became available over here. So that is the pop up that comes up over there. So if you actually went now, I said the other user, in the other user, we actually want to kick that one out from here. Let's pretend that the user is freshly coming in. Go ahead and the waffle menu or the app launcher. I go and click on Yammer. Now when the user comes to Yammer, she will also see the exact same thing. Sees that introduction the message on the top, which says new, and then the storylines becomes available. So this is how you turn it on and the new feature will go ahead and present itself. So let's change things a bit and I'm bringing you now to my production tenant. This is my personal production tenant. And over here, we've signed in as the Yammer admin. This Yammer admin is not a global admin. She is a dedicated Yammer admin. And so now if Rosanna, who is the admin, when clicks on the settings over here, she is able to see the network admin settings and the managed storyline. By the way, Rosanna is actually using the Yammer administrative role, which is available in Azure AD, and she's able to come in successfully after turning on the privileged identity management. If you're interested in any of that, I've put the link down in the description below go take a look at that video. But let's switch things up a bit. What I want to do is now come in as a regular user. Now this is actually Finn. Finn is just a regular user. And now when Finn comes in over here, Finn Christian, the first thing he sees is the introduction of the new storyline. It says, hey, introducing storyline, a new way to share updates and all of that. So this is important for you to understand that when it is turned on, it is turned on across the tenant for everybody. Right now, there is no functionality to go ahead and stop it or do it at a per user level, but we'll, we'll deal with that in just a few minutes. So now when Finn comes in, again, just to verify, comes in, not a network admin, but is able to see all of these things. The storyline functionality shows up over here. And if Finn has already been following someone else before, their storyline automatically even shows up over here. So that's why you're able to see all of this. 
And just as an example, here is a regular user. The regular user is in the storylines. The moment you click on this section over here, by default, that storyline or my storyline section already gets selected. And then you can go ahead and put all of this information in. So this is basically how the storyline works in from the regular user perspective. And we're just able to verify how it looks over here. And the situation is very similar from the team's perspective, specifically with Microsoft Viva Engage. So I'm going to toggle over here and now I'm in Microsoft Teams. In my Microsoft Teams, I'm in Microsoft Viva Engage. And now as we come into Microsoft Viva Engage, remember the Viva Engage is powered by Yammer. Before all we had was communities, but now we also have storylines. And when I click on storylines, you are able to see the exact same storylines that we saw in Microsoft, in, in Microsoft Yammer. Just so I can show it, I come over here. This is what my storyline looks like for Rosanna Christian when we are in Yammer. When we switch over to Microsoft Teams in Microsoft Viva Engage, we see the exact same thing. So just to make sure that there's some similarities over there, it is the exact same thing. Remember, Microsoft Viva Engage is powered by Yammer. And let's also take a look at this from the mobile apps standpoint. So the first one I'm going to do is go to actually Yammer and I'll click on Yammer. When we come to Yammer, this is what my feed looks like. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and click on the profile on the top left. So you see my icon over there. So I'm going to go and click on that. I click on it again. It takes me to all these places over here. When I go to my all activity, the first thing it shows right on the top is Daniel Christian's storyline. So all your storyline information directly shows up over here. And if you were to click on the notifications on the right, you can actually see that these notifications are also coming me, telling me which notifications are coming in directly from the user or from the user storyline. See specifically on the top, this is saying that Rosanna Christian shared a post on their storyline. So the notifications are also very specifically tied to that. So let's switch over now to Microsoft Teams. This was in Yammer. So I'm going to go now to my Microsoft Teams. The Teams opens up over here. I'm inside my Microsoft Teams. I click on more. Right on the bottom over there, you see Viva Engage. I click on Viva Engage, and this is what the Viva Engage looks like. And over here also, it tells me very specifically the post that, hey, Rosanna Christian shared a post on their storyline, or the, uh, this comment or this item was actually posted on the storyline. These notifications on the top, this text actually tells you what it is. The one thing I like about the Viva Engage is on the top, if you see, there's a section over there, which actually, if you click on it, that is for the storylines. And over here, you can see everybody's storylines, either the user, the person you're already following, or it may be just your own storylines. And this is also where you can go ahead and just see, this, is it just my feed or is it the, basically the followings? You have this functionality over here. Basically, Viva Engage is a little bit more user friendly when it comes from the mobile standpoint. So I finally want to end with some very important points that we all need to be aware of about how this preview works. And it's available in this Microsoft documentation. So the first thing is it says, who can see storyline content? Basically what it is seeing that right now, this is not available for the guests outside. So basically if any of your external networks, which have guest access, well, those people from the guests who come in, they will not have access to your storyline over here. And basically it says that does storyline work for guests? Guests are excluded from storyline access. They won't have their own storyline and won't be able to see any storyline content posted by others. It's an important thing though, is that they can't create their storyline in your tenant. Plus they cannot see other people's storyline. Next over here is, can I control who sees storyline content? It says it isn't possible to prevent any internal users from seeing storyline content. If they have access to Yammer and Viva Engage, guests won't be there. Basically what this section was, but that one over here and what this one says is that right now, you can't create a exclusive small group of people that okay, these set of people are the only ones who see storyline. The other people cannot know. It is not that granular right now. However, they are seeing that once it's saying that in the future, they are planning to do that. It says, we plan to have the capability of limiting who gets their own storyline shortly after storyline reaches general availability. It says once available, you'll be able to delegate via Azure AD groups, which users have personal storyline. Okay. So that's pretty neat though, because you're already planning ahead. They're going to go ahead and do that using Azure AD, which is something that we may already have. We've got Azure AD groups for so many other things. You can already start leveraging that to make a granular level permissions from storyline. So these were the very important points which are available in the Microsoft Docs. So it is there, but I just wanted to bring that to your attention. So this video was just a quick overview of the storyline which is currently available in preview in your Yammer. And as a quick recap, this is a all or none type of a testing scenario, which means the moment you turn it on, everybody in your Yammer communities will be able to see that except for the guests. The guests do not have access to see your storyline. They do not have access to create their own storylines in your tenant. 
So hopefully this video was useful to you. And as always, keep using Microsoft Yammer and Microsoft UI Engage. Hey everyone, hopefully you found this video useful. And if you did, can you help me help you? Can you subscribe to this YouTube channel? Because remember, I provide fresh content on a weekly basis and it's 100% free. So if you have subscribed, thank you so much and pass the word. But if you haven't, subscribe, click on the bell notification and let the learning begin.